faith and moral aspects of fasting. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, hurry toward your Lord's forgiveness and the paradise which is as wide as the heavens and earth prepared for riches, who give both in prosperity and adversity, who restrain their anger and burden people and burden people. Allah loves those who do good. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. The Almighty Allah has prescribed fasting for lofty purposes and valuable objectives. It is a practice to learn faith and morals. When contemplating the, the, the Quran, one finds that the Almighty Allah mentioned the purpose of fasting in the Quran, when he, glory be to him, said, you who believe, you who believe fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you. All you who believe fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you so that you may be mindful of Allah. Being mindful of Allah is a comprehensive value that encompasses all values of goodness. And therefore, it was mentioned in the Quran along with many faith and moral values. The Almighty Allah said, Goodness does not consist in turning your face toward east or west. The truly good are those who believe in Allah and the last day, in the angels the scripture and the prophets who give away some of their wealth however much they cherish it to their relatives to orphan the needy travelers and beggars and to liberate those in bondage those who keep up the prayer and pray the prescribed alms who keep bludged bludges whenever they make them who keep bludges whenever they makes them, who are steadfast in misfortune, adversity, and the times of danger. These are the ones who are true, and it is they are mindful of Allah. Among the religious and ethical as aspects, among the religious and ethical aspects of fasting is the value of observing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the value of observing Allah. Fasting is a secret between a servant and his Lord, which no one but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shall know its truth. It is evidence that a servant believes that the Almighty Allah watches and sees him, watches and sees him in all conditions. It is evidence that the servant Believe that the Almighty Allah watches and see him in all conditions. Allah, glory be to him, said, In whatever matter you profit may be engaged, and whatever part of the Quran you are reciting, whatever work you people are doing, we witness you. We witness you when you are engaged in, in it. Not even the weight of a speck of dust in the earth or sky escapes your Lord, not nor anything lesser or greater. It is all written in a clear, a clear record. It is based on this belief that the reward of fasting is so great that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only knows his reward. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, every good deed of the son of Adam will be multiplied manifold. A good deed will be multiplied ten times up as many as seven hundred times, or as much as Allah's will. Allah wills. Allah says, except for fasting, except for fasting which is for me, and I shall reward for it.
He gives up his desire and his food for my sake. He gives up his desire and his food for my sake. It is very be be befitting. It is very befitting for a fasting person who observes Allah in his fast to observe him in his work, reduction, and all his dealings during and after Ramadan. Fasting is a practice. Fasting is a practice for learning patience in all its forms. It is a patience on performing acts of obedience, withholding from prohibited acts, and avoiding lusts. Therefore, the Prophet ﷺ described Ramadan as a, month of, as a month of patience. When he ﷺ said, Fasting during the month of patience means Ramadan, and three days of each month is equal fasting for a lifetime. It is required from the fasting person to have patience by support, suppressing his anger. It is required from the fasting person to have patience by suppressing his anger, forgiving those who wronged him, providing for those who do not help him, and do goodness to those who offended him. As our Prophet wasallam said, when any one of you is observing fasting on a day, he should neither indulge in absence language, nor should he raise the voice, and if anyone reviles him or tries to quarrel with him, he should say, I'm observing fast. Moreover, genuine, genuine fast prevents a Muslim. Genuine fast prevents a Muslim from lying, cheating, deceiving, betraying, or backbiting anyone. The Prophet ﷺ said, if one does not abandon lies and false conduct, Allah has no need that he should abstain from his food and his drink. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad ﷺ his companions and followers. One of the most important purposes of fasting, one of the most important purposes of fasting is to achieve solidarity and compassion and to experience the feeling of the poor and the needy. This drives a person to feel sympathy with them, help them, and try to fulfill their needs. The Prophet ﷺ was asked, which, which deeds of Islam is good? He ﷺ said, you feed the, the food and greet those you know and those you don't know. If the reward of solidarity, if the reward of solidarity, compassion, generosity, and feeding the poor is a great at all times, it's more rewardable during the month of Ramadan. As our Prophet ﷺ said, He who provides a fasting person something with which to break his fast will earn the same reward as, as one who was observing the fast without diminishing in any way the reward of the later. Abdullah ibn Abbas said, Abdullah ibn Abbas said, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the most generous of the men and he was the most generous during the month of Ramadan. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the most generous of the men and he was the most generous during the month of Ramadan. How beautiful! How beautiful it is for, he, for us to learn from the practice of fasting the lesson of faith and moral values in order to attain the genuine fruit of fasting. Jabir ibn Abdullah said, when you fast, then let your hearings, when you fast, Jabir ibn Abdullah said, when you fast, let your hearing 
saying and tongue fast as well as from falsehood and sense and avoid harming your neighbor rather you must have dignity and calmness on the day of your fasting may Allah save our country Egypt may Allah save our country Egypt and all other countries of the world thank you